Hey everybody, this is Sam with QTE. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up fixtures in the X Plus add-on for Mastercam. Uh, X Plus has a lot of great features including setup sheets, tool sheets, and more, but today we're going to look at how you can use it to easily create and import fixtures for your Mastercam parts. This really helps with simplifying the setup for multi-axis work, uh, machine simulation, and since you'll have an extra accurate fixture aligned to your stock with just a few clicks. So to start we're going to need a basic solid model that we want to use as a fixture. So I've downloaded a 6-inch Kurt Vice from their website. I'm going to open it now as a step file. Uh, make sure all files are selected over here so you can see all of your available types. And I'm going to control click, which will let me click these options here. So I'm going to turn edge curves off. X plus uh, only needs solids. We don't really need wireframe. Uh, it's really good to, idea to have edge curves turned on. Um, since it makes it a lot easier when you're programming parts, but like I said, just for this, we only need solids. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to click open. So now I've got my vise in Mastercam here, but it's not aligned quite how I like it. So you do have the option to rotate your fixture at 90 degree increments in X+, but I would recommend setting up the vise as you're typically going to use it to start with. So I'm going to window over the geometry here, select a dynamic transform. I'm going to put my gnomon just right here, and I'm going to rotate by clicking the middle of the arc. So 90 degrees this way, and middle of the arc here. Go negative 90 this way. And now my fixture is aligned to the axis how I want it. But if I go to my right side view, I can see that Z is down here below the vise. And Z is going to be important for how we actually set our parts up against the fixture. So I'm going to click the blue check here to create a new instance of Dynamic Transform. I'm going to select my entities again. And this time I'm just going to select uh, somewhere here along the top of this top jaw. That works. I'll click along the Z axis, and then I can slide it in just one axis. So I'm going to mouse over the gnomon. Go to my right side view again, and now I can see that my Z0 of my top plane is set along the top of the jaws here. Now we'll do another video where we do a step vise or uh, something like that, but with a fixed jaw vise like this, um, with no steps in your jaws, I always set the Z0 at the top. That way I can simply input my clamping depth, uh, or you can do the height of the parallel, something like that and it makes it really easy to control the depth that your workpiece is down inside the jaws if you leave it at Z0 here. So that's why I've set it up that way. So X Plus works on levels for fixturing. So you need one level for each component that you want to be able to manipulate. So this kind of vise, we're gonna have a fixed jaw and a movable jaw. And so we're gonna actually move all of this geometry to just two levels. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my two levels here. Level 1000, I'm going to call my fixed jaw, and make one more level. And this is going to be my movable jaw. So I'll select the movable jaw first. Uh, that's going to, just going to pick all the solids that are going to be a part of it. Make sure you spin around and grab them all, bolts and everything. And now in Mastercam, I can just right click on that level and click Move Selected Entities. Then I'll turn the visibility off on that. Control A to select everything else. And again, I'll right click on my fixed jaw now. Move everything to it. And now I have all these empty levels here. Simply right click on any single one of them. Go to clear empty levels and all. So at this point, I have my vise. I have it on my levels how I need to have them. I have it aligned in Mastercam how I want it to be aligned. So at this point is a good idea to save your file. So I'm going to click Save here. Now X Plus uses the public documents folder, much like the shared Mastercam directory. So when you click Save in Mastercam, Mastercam puts this nice link to it right over here. So I'll click my saved shared Mastercam folder, go back to public documents, and now we have X Plus here. Go into X Plus, Fixtures, and Parts, and that's where I'm going to save my file. So I'm going to call this Kurt. 6-inch vice.mcam. Save that there. 
And now it's time to set up the actual uh, fixture itself. So go to X plus here. I'm going to do fixture setup. If you want to change the directory where you save your parts or your configurations, this little gear here allows you to change those to you know a network location or your master cam parts folder, just wherever you'd like to store them. You can change that right here, and it'll save in your configuration. So we've got our Kurt 6-inch vise here. This is essentially a new setup. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my chucking range from Kurt's website. That's 0 to 6 inches. And I'm going to leave my predefined span depth at 0. Span depth is from wherever the Z0 of your top plane for your fixture is to whatever point on your stock you select here. So we're going to add components and these fixture components here. We can do that with this little vice icon or you can simply right click inside the window and click add component and I'm going to start out with my fixed jaw. So you just have to select uh, a piece of geometry that is on the same level as the component you're wanting to manipulate. So I'm going to just click my fixed jaw here and selection and now you see it's selected that entire level, my fixed jaw geometry. The next thing we have to do is click the reference point at the fixture component. So you have a fixture component reference and you have a stock reference. And this is going to be where your stock is going to meet the point you select here. So for this type of ice, we're going to select this Y positive edge at the bottom of the stock at the midpoint. And then we're going to select where on the jaw that's going to line up to. So in this case, I'm just going to select the midpoint of the very front face. I don't want the top face because we've already set Z. I want the front face just for X and Y. So there's my X midpoint. My Y face is this face of this jaw. And we're here at the bottom front face of the stock. Then I'm going to add another component. And now I'm going to do my movable jaw. So it's going to hide the geometry that I've already worked with. So just select my movable jaw here and selection. And in this case, we're going to want it to be the Y negative face at the bottom of the stock. Select the reference point, And again, I'm going to choose the midpoint of the actual face of the jaw. So at this point, our fixture is ready to be saved. Click the green check. Has not been saved. Save now. Yes. And it's going to save in this SMK file under X plus fixtures. So click save. Now there's one last thing, one last thing to do. X plus is nice and shows you these little snapshots of your fixtures. But you can see our six inch Kurt vise. We don't have one yet. So let's go ahead and create that. To make it look nice, I'm going to hide the gnomons and the axes. And I'm going to turn on this kind of nice metallic looking shading here. Go back to X plus, fixture setup, and I'm going to open, I'm going to load the fixture setup that I just created, six inch vise. There it is there. And now we just click this little snapshot button to create a thumbnail for it. Make sure that you're centered in your graphics window. I'm going to hit the fit button here. It's going to take a snapshot, click save, and now there's that nice little thumbnail. I'm going to save my master cam file. And this fixture is ready to go. So let's try it out on a new part. So I'm going to hit control N for a new master cam part. I'm going to add a milling machine here. And then we'll just need to add the stock back in. So I'm going to go over here under properties, stock setup. I'm going to click my bounding box right here. And I'm just going to go three by three by one inches. It's a good size. Green check, green check. Then I'm going to go over to my toolpath tab, hit stock display and shading so I can see it. There's my piece of stock. Now I go to X plus, add fixtures, select my vice, and this is where the span depth comes into play. So span depth is going to be the distance from the bottom of the stock to the top of the jaw, because that's how we set it up. So in this case, it's going to be negative. We're going to Z negative on the top plane of the fixture. So I'm going to go minus 0.25. That'll be a quarter inch. Uh, 
like I said, if you had something where you were wanting to put in the height of your parallels, you could set Z0 to be, you know, this bottom face of the vise or something like that. But in this case, since we set it at the top, I'm going to do a quarter inch down. Hit my green check. And just like that, our vise is imported into Mastercam. We can go to our right side view and see we're a quarter inch below the top of the jaws, clamped on the stock. We're centered. And now we can use this as geometry to set a plane off of. We can use it in verify to make sure that we're not going to hit anything. Since it is actually geometry in Mastercam, you can set up a plane right on the edge. You can manipulate it, put it in a view sheet, all that good stuff. So to add it to verify, we do need a toolpath first. So I'm just going to do a basic Facing pass here, I'm going to pull a 3 inch face mill out of the library. And let's take a quarter inch off the top of it. So there's my facing pass. Select this simulator options next to the verify button. Come down here to fixtures and I can select my fixed jaw and my movable jaw as fixture level geometry. And now when I go into verify, make sure fixtures are turned on. You can make them opaque or translucent. And you have full control over that. You can see you're not going to hit anything. And in machine simulation, these will show up as well and you can use them for collision avoidance detection. And make sure that you know, your setup is actually what you're intending it to be. So if you guys have any questions or want to request a trial of the software, uh, just let us know at support at qtemfg.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.